Hello and welcome to BDE Travels in our Camino de Santiago. In our last episode, we left the town of Belo Bravo on the very cold conditions. We begin our walk across the rivers and in today's episodes, we will walk through beautiful sunflower fields. We'll enjoy the beautiful scenery on our way to San Juan de Ortega. Join us in our adventure here on BDE Travels. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our adventures. And welcome aboard. Belorado, and now we're just arriving at Dos Santos. Uh, the word for the day pretty much is uh, sunflowers. Uh, everywhere we walked there were sunflowers and uh, right now we're just crossing the town of uh, Dos Santos. A very short uh, town. They got like a, her uh, a church in the middle of the rock. Uh, let's see if I can get a shot of that. And uh, not much after that. Uh, today's about 20 kilometer walk and we should see how it goes. I love the way they walk. Yeah, the chicken too. We're entering the town of Villa Ambrista. We just entered the town of uh, Villa Ambrista. I think that's how it's called. Uh, and it's interesting that uh, same as Dos Santo, just about two kilometers. St. Stephen actually was uh, was the patron saint here, and they constructed that church about in the uh, 17th century. It's uh, romantic in style. It has different uh, sizes. Uh, it was restored in the 1712. Uh, very interesting church. Uh, it was not open by the time we got in here, but all you see it's a uh, water fountain and. Uh, couple of our bed our Vegas that's that's pretty much it and usually we got Americans coming so we're loud We're entering now the town of Espinosa del Camino. And one peculiar thing about today is that we started at uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit and right now it's 80 degrees. It's about a 30 degree change in, uh, in uh, temperature. So those are things that you gotta plan for with your, uh, you know, your clothes. But things like that do happen. So these towns on next to Burgos or close to Burgos, it's usually one road with a whole bunch of uh, houses and that's pretty much it. So we got Espinosa del Camino, we got another town, and then we tackle the, uh, the climb for today. Should be interesting.
primer stop in Villafranca Montes de Oca. You can see it's very loud. So that only tells you the importance of the city. There's trucks, there's farms, things, there are RVs, and we're sitting right in front of the church in uh, Villafranca Montes de Oca, right before the uh, hill. So we took a small break. Uh, there's a supermarket at the entrance. You can, uh, you know, stack up on food and water. But it's a busy town. It's Monday. It's uh, 11:30. So we'll see what we uh, what we encounter. Break. We left Belo Belorado. Yep. How was it? Did you like Belorado? It was okay. It was okay. Yeah. Belorado, where yeah. we had the restaurant uh, yesterday. Mm. Oh, that was a good restaurant. That was a good it was restaurant. A tourist trap, but it wasn't. Yeah. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. And then the t two little towns today, not much to see, right? Mm -hmm. This place is busy with cars. But it only had one restroom this whole time. One what? One restroom. One restroom, yep. Anything you like to say on this town? The road is dangerous. The road is dangerous. Be careful when you cross the road. Mm -hmm. And when you got nice. no fork, that's what you do. I mean, no spoon. Yeah. You got no spoon, that's what you do. It was 30 cents extra. It was not 30 cents good. for a spoon? I wasn't going to I will use the finger anytime. <laughs> right? And I couldn't find anything to eat, so I only had chocolate. That's good. Chocolate. It tastes like crunch. is good, and it's, she says it tastes like crunch, so that's good. Oh, apparently there is an albergue, and uh, we got a nice water fountain right next to uh, the church. So right next to the church, they got uh, San Antonio Bot Hotel and Restaurant and Cafeteria. So for those who need to uh, stay in Villa Franca. Montes de Oca. Looks like a nice place though. I wish I would have known about this place. That's not in the uh, manual or the guides. Hi girl! Franca Montes de Oca. Get the sign. Hi, remember leaving the town on Villa, Villa Franca Montes de Oca. You start this climb, this ascent. It's about a uh, thousand feet, just 300 meters. And it has, uh, it's about a 10 degree upslope. And it's usually about two to three hour climb to get to the other side to San Juan de Ortega.
Belorado. Belorado was very nice, beautiful scenery. I love the sunflowers. I love the rolling hills. Uh, the wheat, it looked beautiful. The landscaping was beautiful. Now, after that... After Villa Franca, Monte de Oca. I believe so. That, from here, it's boring. It's tedious. <laughs> it's, I don't like it because of, you know, so many insects. Um, I, the only pretty thing is that you see a lot of butterflies, but that's it. I don't like this. There this. was, there was that place uh, in the middle with a guy, you uh, know, but it's, it's just like walking in the forest in yeah. the middle of a road. But I don't find it interesting today. I mean, the first hour was nice, uh, but during the, you know, the rest of it, no. I would take this and skip this one. You will skip this one? <laughs> yeah, I would skip this yeah, one. All right. Yeah, now yesterday, the sceneries were beautiful. Yeah, yeah yesterday was good. Yeah. But we'll see how the end goes. I mean, it might be nice at the end. Yeah. Well, let's keep our hopes up. <laughs> yeah. Villa Franca and uh, the climb that we've done. They got this place called the Oasis, 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 in the middle of the uh, road. And they kind of built uh, different things. Uh, very interesting. I think we're a little bit late today. And yeah, because I don't see anyone. Anyone is in there today, but it's a good place to stop and, and refresh yourself. At this point, the town of San Juan de Ortega welcomes us to the monastery that belonged to the Order of Los Jerónimos from 1432 until the 19th century. It has a church with three apps dating from the 12th and 13th centuries. It was restored in 1964. Highlights includes the window in the central apse. In the church of San Juan de Ortega, there is a very special column. This particular column, every equinox, the sun hits where the uh, Virgin Mary is. They call it the miracle of the Virgin. The church is an example of the late Romanesque art, constructed during the 12th and 13th centuries. It's century. an interesting fact. If you get to San Juan de Ortega, and for some reason you need to take a taxi or a bus, they got phone numbers on the side there that you can call, or you can walk an extra six kilometers to uh, Salduendo, which is another city, you make a left turn on the uh, exit on the exit of the town, and then a, a right turn on the intersection with with Highway 120. And there's a bus stop further up ahead that you can grab a bus. It will take you to Burgos, usually between three to five euros per person. So uh, that's an alternative if you can't continue to Ajes, uh, which will be the next town. Uh, it's interesting, but they they do do provide that service. Well, folks, join us in our next episode as we reach the beautiful town of Burgos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our next adventure here on BDE Travel.